Oh my, the red crab is actually eating its own children. Every day in the animal kingdom, cruel events are happening. Today, let's take a look at the four most ruthless animals in the animal kingdom. Fourth, the cuckoo. It's the animal most known for abandoning its offspring. For cuckoo mothers, raising a child is just too much trouble, so they abandon them even before they're born. Before laying eggs, the cuckoo mother finds a host nest, pushes out one of the eggs, and lays her own egg there. This behavior of the cuckoo mother is indeed very shameless. To reassure the other bird mothers to raise its offspring, it even kill the other bird's children. As cuckoo chicks generally grow faster than other bird species, the larger cuckoo chick soon pushes other chicks out of the nest, leaving them to fall to their death or starve. What's infuriating is that these chicks' mothers don't realize the cuckoo chick is the killer of their own children and continue to feed it until it flies away. Third, the shark. You might not believe it, but sharks, known as killers of the ocean, start practicing their hunting skills even before they are born. Generally, a mother shark lays about 20 eggs at a time, but their bodies cannot provide enough nutrition for all these little sharks. So, the growing baby sharks have to fight for their lives. The faster developing one grow teeth earlier and prey on the slower growing siblings. It's a one-sided slaughter, and the survivor is the strongest little shark. This harsh environment is why sharks are born with such strong predatory skills. Second, the hamster. You wouldn't imagine that cute hamsters would eat their own children like snacks. Scientists have conducted experiments where a mother hamster, after giving birth to eight baby hamsters, would eat two of them. If two more were added, she would repeat this dreadful act. But if two baby hamsters were removed on the day she gave birth, she wouldn't exhibit this behavior. From this experiment, scientists concluded that hamsters eat their children mainly because they can't provide for them all. To sustain the population, they are forced to consume some of their offspring. Spring. First, the Christmas Island Red Crab. Every October to December, you can witness a spectacular scene on Christmas Island in Australia. Millions of red crabs migrate from the forest to the sea to lay eggs. A female red crab can lay up to 100,000 eggs at a time, and each crab's breeding cycle is different. Some crabs' babies are already able to hunt when others are just beginning to lay eggs. Sometimes, the first-born baby crabs start their return journey. You might think the mother crab would help her children find their way home, but almost all mother crabs do this. They stuff the baby crabs into their mouths one by one, as if eating red popcorn. In fact, this is not uncommon. If the mother crab is hungry, she will eat her own children without hesitation. Please leave a comment to discuss.